Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly and it is so, so lovely to see you today. It is the start of the month, so let's spend a week together. Grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. start the month and I always love to spend a week with you do these little extra vlogs because it's really important to me to show what a week in my life is like I do have several chronic illnesses I talk about them a lot on my blog link is down in the description but I just constantly find myself struggling with chronic illnesses and my fatigue and my pain holding me back from doing everyday things that most people probably take for granted and that is why I think it's really important to just show a week in my life as a chronic illness babe but <laughs> It is the start of the month and it is Samhain week. So tomorrow is All Hallows Eve, which means today is All Hallows Eve Eve. And I'm very, very excited because, yeah, today we're going to spend some time at my altar. Tomorrow I'm going out for the day. We're going thrifting. We do at the beginning of every one of these. I love to go thrifting at the start of the month. That's when, like, I definitely go is the beginning of the week. So, um, yeah, tomorrow we're going to go into town together. We're going to go thrifting. We're going to go. We've got a new pound shop. We haven't had a pound shop for a long time in the town, so it's really exciting to have a pound shop. So we're going to go around there and we're just going to see what occurs really just see what happens for the week but that means today is kind of like where I'm starting my Halloween celebrations so that's what you've got to look forward to also on Thursday we are going out to play live action role playing which will be it's not LARPing we sit and play like tabletop games and things like that it's more D&D &D than LARPing anyway <laughs> I'm waffling because I'm not feeling too great. But anyway, yeah, I really hope that you're going to enjoy spending the week with me. But before we get to it, don't forget, if you're new here, you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Butterfly family. We'd absolutely love to have you here. So don't forget to give this video a like and a comment. It helps the YouTubiverse to know that you enjoyed the video and they will share me out more, which always helps my channel to grow, helps more people to see my videos. But the best way to help me here at the channel is to head to the description where you'll find links to Ko-fi and Patreon, where you can just follow me to get updates when I have new videos and new blog posts and things like that. But you can also give me a one-off donation or a monthly donation of two pounds that will keep my channel going here and I don't make any money from YouTube so it definitely helps me out if you're able to just uh, click down below like these lovely butterflies over here thank you all so so much for your donations they absolutely mean the world to me just that anyone will believe in my channel and my blog and me enough to give me a little bit of money each month it's just amazing so thank you but let's get on with our day shall we so i am dressed so let me back you up and show you what i'm wearing today so today i'm wearing this really cute little crocheted black shrug thing i thrifted this years ago a thrifted like jersey dress it's got loads of room it's really comfy and then i'm also wearing some spider web leggings from georgia asda and that's my halloween <laughs> halloween eve outfit I'm not going to get very dressed up just for chilling in the house. I do need to get organised online today. I want to make like my own links page so that people can easily find all the places to follow me. Uh, on my website, I definitely want to do that. But I also need to organise my role play life because that's in disarray at the moment <laughs> i haven't had time to go on there and organize myself so that needs to happen but before we do i'm going to sort out my altar room come with me so as you can see this is going to be a future craft project on the channel this tree so just pretend that's not there but if you see in the middle my 
Archangel Michael has been going crazy with the wax. He needs a new a new candle, so that's the first job. But everybody's got their offerings and stuff. I definitely want to give people new offerings today. I want to give everybody some red wine for celebrate the Halloween season. You know, it's a it's a good day to do that. <gasps> and you've got to see, I don't know if you all remember how sickly my altar plant was, but look how beautiful she is now. She is just thriving and loving life. So yeah, she's definitely come back to life. Oh, I'm out of breath today. So I'm just going to remake a candle. If you want to see how I do candles, I have shown that in a previous vlog. So check that out, my friends. But I think for now, I'm just going to see what I can make happen. I definitely need to, yeah, just organise things, really. So I was just about to make a new candle for Michael when I realised there was enough in there for another day. So I haven't done that today. But what I have done is broken out a book that I used to work with every single day. Like every day I would do this. And that is this book. This is Daily Magic, Spells and Rituals for Making the Whole Year Magical by Judica Isles. She's the one who did the Encyclopedia of 5000 Spells and the Encyclopedia of Spirits, which I have. I don't have the 5000 Spells one. But this Daily Magic book is something that I work with every day. Literally every day I would open the thing and see what saint to work with that day, what, if there was a spell or a ritual. Let's bend it down a little bit so you can see. Oh, you see my bearsy? <laughs> he looks out for his uh, protection thing, ward. Anyway, so what I love about this book is it tells you all about the spirits that are out that day. It tells you about the different names for different days in different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cultures. Also gives you recipes so you can bake things, spells that you can include, spirits to work with. There's like four or five pages just for October the 30th. So I'm going to read these out today. It's a really good book. Highly recommend. I think I did a video of it. If I did, I'll find it and leave a link down below. I can't quite remember if I ever did do like a review video or if I just bought it and was like, I love but I, I'm working with it again. I just felt called to it today. I was just like, I want to read this again. So one of my goddesses, Hecate, um, it's it's her season. Samhain is her day. But as you all know, I don't work with the wheel of the year as just a day. I work with it as a season. So Samhain will, will go from tomorrow until Yule. So it's a good like two months, I think. So it's October the 31st. I'm looking at my, my wheel of the year. Yeah, October the 31st. And then December the 20th is Yule. So we have a long time to work with Samhain energy. And I really love working with this energy. It is our new year and I feel it's come just in time because I feel I feel as if I have all this energy, new, fresh energy coming towards me. And a lot of things are being blown away from me out behind of me. And what's cool is, and I find this a lot, I work with Diana and I work with Hecate. And Diana and Hecate often tag team me with messages. So this was Hecate's message. And as you can see, there is a figure standing by a cliff and all these bats are flying towards her like this new energy is rushing in and I looked at it and was just like yeah that's exactly how I feel and then Diana gave me this so it's a figure standing and surrendering to change and here is all this new bright beautiful energy just raining down onto this figure and behind them is the old energy leaving. That's how I read it. You could read it in a different way. That's what I love about this deck. This is called the Queen of the Moon Oracle, if you like these. And this is uh, the witch, Season of the Witch. Anyway, so these two just really spoke to me today because that's how I feel. This is what I feel is happening this new year. There's a lot of decisions that I'm making in my life at the moment, a lot of things that I'm changing up and a lot of things that are happening within my life that I'm changing up so I can 
concentrate more on the things that I actually want to learn and grow in instead of holding on to old hobbies and interests that are actually holding me up and holding me back in so many ways because they good memories kind of hold on to me and I'm I feel myself being pulled back and this really spoke to me because it's called surrender so I need to surrender to just letting that new energy come in and stop trying to hold myself back just because I have good memories so if that speaks to you as well, let me know down in the comments because that really spoke to me today. It really was a lot of just, wow, that really, you really got me there. <laughs> as my goddesses always do, Hecate and Diana are like the two sides of me and I definitely feel that their energy has changed me so much just in the last year. Hecate has been incredible. She's been the last goddess to come into my life. She just kind of came out of nowhere. I was quite happy working with Archangel Michael, first of all. I was like, oh, I'm just going to work with Archangel Michael. And then Diana made herself known. And I was like, oh, I like working with Diana. You know, she's a forest goddess and she's a warrior queen. And she has this beautiful energy, this motherly kind of let's go hunting together and have an adventure kind of energy and she's really helped me work with my anxiety and get out and do more things and really helped me to improve who I am but Hecate came in I think it was about this time last year maybe a little bit before can't quite remember when her energy arrived and I really didn't want to work with her I was really scared of her I was really terrified of Hecate she is the queen of the underworld. She looks after our ancestors down there and she really protects them and works with them a lot. And her energy came in when I started to work with my ancestors. It was like, she was just like, oh, I'm going to help you out. Come on, let's, let's do this work. And she has helped me so much to really let go of misconceptions about certain types of witchcraft or certain things like tarot I had this real like con idea in my head that I could never learn tarot because of my memory issues and she's really just come in and been like no try it give it a whirl and I love it I love it more than anything now so yeah anyway I'm gonna read this book and then I think I'm going to do like a Samhain little meditation and then that'll be it today I don't want to overload myself and do too much because I want to stretch this out for like nearly two months I've got nearly two months of stuff that I can be doing and I definitely have so many ideas up in my noggin of things that I want to do. So I'm I'm very excited. I really am. I love Samhain season. I work with my ancestors there who I connect with the most. So it makes sense that I would be so excited for Samhain. I'm going to get back to reading. I would highly recommend this or any book by Judica Isle. She's one of my favourite authors many witches feel the same way I'm going to be honest but we're going to read this out together and then do a meditation and that will be that for the day I hope you are having a lovely day I'm going to try not to ask you that every day but obviously to me it's a different day to you it's like five minutes of time anyway let's get on shall we <laughs> So as you can see, Gizmo's already settled, waiting for sleeping, looking at me in a very angry way because I'm talking to you instead of getting into bed. But you should be used to that by now. We've had a lovely evening. We had some beans on toast for dinner because none of us felt very hungry. And we watched, what did we watch? Oh, we watched Strictly because we hadn't seen it. Saturday was at the Owl Sanctuary where my husband volunteers. It was like their Halloween night, a Halloween spooktacular where they did some really cool, really cool things. I bought in lots of money. Oh, sorry. And then yesterday I did five hours of D&D. &D. It was a lot of fun, but I am absolutely exhausted now. So I'm looking forward to climbing into that there bed. But um, <laughs> then we watched a couple of episodes of Neighbours. Because we do, every day. We love Neighbours. I've loved Neighbours since it started when I was a little kid. I remember it coming on and just absolutely loving it. Still a big Toadie fan. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to 
watching the new series because I haven't started watching the new ones yet because my mom is slow to watch things like if I'd have been binging this on my own I would have been done with it by the time the new series started but we're about a year away from watching not a year away in our time a year away of like binging neighbours content anyway I'm talking about neighbours again because it's one of my favourite shows but yeah, I got a lot done today. I managed to chill a lot and paced myself well, so I'm feeling really proud of myself. Little patty on the back there. In the morning, I'm hoping to have a quick shower and then have a little bit of time at my altar just to like start off the day in the right manner. And then I think most of my sour and stuff is going to be done after we go thrifting. So I'm really excited for tomorrow because it's Halloween and we're going thrifting and tomorrow evening we're going to be watching Shaun of the Dead my best favourite film ever that I've ever seen ever but also as well as that it's just my favourite Halloween film so we're going to watch that and um, I might get some popcorn or something fun to eat because it's Halloween and it should be celebrated and I'm going to celebrate it because it's my favourite day of the whole year even more than my birthday even more than christmas or anything it's just the, the best day so i'm really excited about that but right now i'm gonna head to bed because i'm exhausted i'm gonna lie in bed and watch some youtube because i i i watch a lot of youtube i'm a creator because i love the platform and i love watching it but right now i'm gonna have a wash get into bed and i hope that you enjoyed spending monday with me i'll see you in the morrow Happy Tuesday everyone, good morning, it is a bright new day, except it's not, it's rainy and horrible outside, <laughs> but it's Halloween, happy Halloween, happy Samhain, blessed Samhain, all the things, I hope you're feeling good and you've had a good Samhain as it would have passed, that was last week for you, but it's today for me and I'm really excited, today we are going thrifting, we're going into town, I need to get some face products and hair products from, I say Superdrug, it's not Superdrug, it's like a cheap knockoff version of Superdrug and it's where I get my cheap toiletries from, <laughs> we all have one in every town, we all go there, it's fine, so I need to do that as well, but it's raining today and it's a bit cold, so I've got two jumpers on, I'm a two jumpered gal today, I'll show you my outfit in a moment, but yeah, we're going out thrifting and it's rainy and horrible, and I do have a raincoat which is brilliant, but it's just the raincoat bit, there's no like, it's not a coat to keep you warm, so I've got two jumpers on to keep me warm, my leggings as always, because I always wear leggings unless it's like July or something I've got leggings on my legs get cold easy I'm a sensitive being but <laughs> yeah today we are heading off thrifting I'm so excited because I want to see if there's any spooky stuff if there's any good um like darker bedding because I've got a lot of like spring and summer really pretty bedding but I would love to get some bedding to make some like you know wintry clothes because I want to get back into sewing don't know what this is but yeah, today I'm just excited. I'm excited to get out and get some fresh air and get out of the house for a bit. I'm really excited for that. And I'm just going to have a good day with my hubby. We're going to have some lunch out. So thank you to Patreons and Kofi members. Very much appreciated that we can go and have some lunch out. And yeah, it's just, it's a good day. It's a good day. It's going to be a good day. I'm very excited because I love thrifting. I do. I love it. I love it. You all know that. And then on Friday, which will have been the Friday just gone to you, but the Friday coming to me will be my thrift haul video. So I'm excited for that. There's lots going on, lots occurring. But just for now, we're going to just have a good day, I think. We're just going to have a nice date day with my husband. We try and do something like a couple of times a month usually you see both of those date days usually um one of our date days is going out thrifting for the day and then another one is going to a museum or an art gallery or something like that some kind of event or thing that we share here on the channel i'll leave a link to the playlist down below because our day out vlogs are very fun and i really love sharing my days out so you get to experience museums and things if you are unable to leave your house or if you're in another country that's why i do it but uh let me show you my outfit for the day it's halloween so i've gone a little bit spooky spooky but not too much you know 
So I've got my sparkly disco jumper on, as you can see. I love this jumper because it's protection, but I also see that as like reflecting out good, beautiful light into my aura, protection, energy. I've got a long sleeve like jumper on underneath. Nobody will be able to see that or notice it, but it'll keep me warm. And then I have on this beautiful skirt from Collectif and it's got these like magical hold on Beverly do it properly do it properly so the people can see little magical hands and snakes and really witchy and then I've just got a little belt on so I felt like if I undo the belt I, f I don't know it just didn't look quite right I felt like I was just a bit just didn't look quite right to me so I decided to wear the belt let me know what you think with belt without belt I'd like to know but um yeah we're not going to do a lot of Halloween Samhain stuff today as you all know I practice my wheel of the year slightly different to most people I've done a whole video about it just now just came out talking about how I make the wheel of the year a bit more accessible for myself and so I see it as the season so Samhain will go from today until Yule which is December so I practice it just a little bit different to a lot of people uh there are other people who practice this way though and it's a lot better because you get to like spread things out and see things in a you know an all together way but I do have a candle that I want to light and some things that I want to do so I'm probably going to do that this evening light my candle pull some cards that sort of thing and then we're going to watch Shaun of the Dead in our pyjamas and that's my whole day planned out for you <laughs> I hope it all works out as as it is in my head but we're going to head out soon so I'm going to have my last wee as that was drilled into me from a kid did was that drilled into you as well go and have a last wee before you go out I'm weird but that's okay I've got hardly any jewellery on just um this is a black onyx and this is amethyst and they are I wear amethyst a lot I work with amethyst a hell of a lot black onyx of course is protection so if ever I need to protect myself and Halloween and Hallow's Eve or yesterday was known as mischief night today is all hallows eve which is the day before saint's day so it's really really important to protect yourself around this time the veil is thin and you can pick up energy really really easily and spirits will be coming to visit ancestors will be coming to see you and so it's really important to just take that time to protect yourself so i'm all protected today we're heading out and uh enjoy i hope you enjoy it I'll bring you along as I always try to, but um, I'll see you in a bit. darlings it is evening time and oh my goodness I'm just you know <laughs> tired we've just been watching baby Sarian and cuddling with the dogs on the sofa I think I'm gonna put my PJs on we're going to have some Tesco's 
pizza and some popcorn and M&Ms mixed together because I'm a bit mental. But if you've never mixed chocolate with popcorn, oh, it's beautiful. And we're going to watch Shaun of the Dead, my favourite all-time movie. And I save it every year for Halloween. It's the only time I watch it these days. I like to really bring back that feeling of when I first watched it. I remember still the first time I watched it and it has so many amazing memories of seeing Simon and Nick and Edgar on the tour when they were promoting the film. We met them loads and loads of times and spending time with my friends, especially Louise. Hi Louise. And just really spending time at these amazing events and I like to bring it back every year, so we're going to be watching that. So I'm going to put my pyjamas on and we're going to chill out for the evening. I hope that you are having a lovely time. I'm going to be actually celebrating Halloween tomorrow, I think. So, yes. But uh, this evening, I think I'm just going to light a candle on my altar tonight for my families and for everybody who's lost over the generations and you know, all those forgotten relatives that we, you know, we've lost in eons gone by. So it's just really nice to light candle for, for them. So I'm going to do that on my altar and we're just going to have a lovely evening. So I hope you've enjoyed Halloween. Let me know down below what you did to enjoy Halloween and I will see you uh, in a bit. everyone happy thursday wednesday it's wednesday happy wednesday i've been i've had a morning basically it's like four o'clock in the evening i i can't lie to you i can't i can lie to you but i'm not gonna um it's been yeah i've just been chilling today just had a bit of a chill day i've written my blog post this morning uh did some role play replies that i owed and then I've just been chilling with the dogs and my mother. Been a pretty cool day. But now I need to go on the computer. I need to check my emails. I need to write out my blog post. I just need to get organised, basically. That's that's what's left for me now. It's get organised. So I need to get doing those things. Wednesdays are very boring. I feel like it's boring content for you, my loves. And I'm sorry about that. I do have a really cosy jumper on. And we're just going to sit at the computer for, for a couple of hours and get some work done. Wednesdays are my days for like really getting my head down, getting checking my emails and doing all that kind of thing. We all have a day like that um, if we run blogs and YouTubes and things like that. And I haven't had a chance to really celebrate Samhain. I'll be honest with you, I'm a bit disappointed in myself. And I'm not going to have time tomorrow, probably. Hopefully I will but probably not. Tomorrow I need to help my mum have a shower and I also need to uh, brain work. There's something else I need to sort out as well. Oh, I need to record a thrift haul, which will already be out, so I'll leave a link to that down below. But yeah, I need to do thrift haul got some really nice things this month so I'm really pleased with that so yeah it's just uh you know it's one of them isn't it it's it's real life we can't always do the things that we want to do and that's why I've chosen to start celebrating South all of the wheel of the year as a season not a day because I just think it's if you've got chronic illnesses or children or you know, you work full time or you're like got busy life. It is really ridiculous to think that you're then going to be able to spend a whole day just doing witchcraft. If you're lucky, you can. I used to be able to before we moved in here, before I started being a carer. But it's just, you know, I've got other things that are priorities. I have got my candle lit and it will be lit until it, it runs out of wax and, and goes out. It's usually a couple of days worth. I'll leave a link to where I get my candles from. It's called Salamander Scents. 
I follow them on Instagram and all the places, so I will leave links to them down below. They're always very nice people. I always get a little freebie in there, and I'm assuming everybody does. <laughs> but yeah, I like to give them a shout out every time I use one of their candles. They're always beautiful. This one's pumpkin spice scented, and oh my goodness, the upstairs of my house smells delicious. I had my first pumpkin spice latte of the season yesterday when I was out, so thank you to all my donators for that. Yeah, I'm just going to get on with stuff really and uh, probably speak to you later, if not tomorrow because I'll probably just go downstairs and watch Neighbours, let's be honest. That's my life. I love Neighbours. <laughs> if you watch Neighbours, tell me down below who your favourite character is. It's important. It's important to me. It's important to everyone. <laughs> my favourite character is Toadie. Toadfish Rebecca has been since he came onto the, the programme. I loved his little dreadlock mullet. He was very cute. He's still cute today. I love him. And in real life, the actor has his own, like, honey business. He has bees and things. So makes me love him even more. Anyway, I'm waffling about neighbours, as I always do. I will catch you all on the flip side. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm really struggling today. <laughs> I'm still in bed. I've had my meds. Um, last night I didn't sign off in the night because I started just feeling really ill. I had a lot of, like, pain at the base of my, like, here. Um, my skull, I think it was the start of a migraine, but I managed to see that off. But today I'm just really tired. <laughs> so I think I'm going to just stay in bed for a bit. My legs are really painful. And I just messaged my friend Kirsty because... I don't think I'll be able to go to uh, the role playing tonight. I'm just really struggling. I hate it. I hate days like this. I'm already frustrated. I have plans for today, but they're not going to happen. So. If we just track down, this is this is Steve Rogers. He's my superhero. Keeps me safe at night. And then if we pan down, where is he? Oh, I can't get to him. Can you see this? This is this is Gizmo. Hold on. Oh, I've woke him up. Poor little bugger. There he is. Hello, little Wisma. Oh, I know. So we're just going to stay in bed and watch some YouTube. Probably doze off to sleep, if I'm going to be honest. I'm just struggling, really struggling. So if you're having a bad day today, you're not alone. <laughs> um... And I hope that we all feel better later. For now. I'm just going to uh, get some rest. Hello my darlings. As you can see, I look like absolute hell. I feel awful. If you want to laugh, here's Squid and Pretzel. My favourite dog influencers. And they're dressed up like Dumb and Dumber. That always makes me smile. It's by my bed. Uh, their calendar makes me smile every single time. I'll leave a link to their Instagram down below. 
But um, I think I'm going to have a bath. I've just taken my nighttime meds. My legs are really painful. So what I'm going to do is have a bath. I'm going to turn it into a healing potion to help me have a good night's sleep, to help my muscles stop hurting. It's just a really good way I've found overall to just really help me feel better. So I really want to share that with you. But first of all, I need to get some clean pyjamas out, get all my stuff ready, you know. But uh, let's go and get this bath run so I can get soaking away this pain. So first thing I'm going to put in is this. It's lavender and bergamot relaxing bath salts. Bath salts are amazing because the salt in it is great for cleansing energetically and cleansing out all that bad energy and lavender and bergamot are great for helping you to sleep. It is bedtime. Then we have Radox Feel Relaxed. This is lavender and water lily. Again, this is just really good for helping me feel sleepy, my muscles and everything to relax. And then we have um, Radox Muscle Soak. This was sea minerals and sage, really good for cleansing energetically. Sometimes we just need a good cleanse and these are really, really good, but the Muscle Soak will help with my pain as well. these this one and then in my big jar here you can see I've got some bath bombs oh. and I think I'm going to use this one this one is shea butter and it's got oats and things it's just really moisturizing so it means I haven't got to worry about moisturizing my body when I've finished and I'm tired I can just blow dry my hair get into bed So when I was getting that bath bomb going, I was just making zeds because whenever I'm trying to sleep, I always think of like zeds. It's just the international I'm going to sleep kind of sign. So I make that into the water. I do want to make like a sigil for sleep and helping me sleep. I think I have made one, but my brain is so foggy tonight. I was just like, just do zeds, just do zeds. So you can make your own sigil or you can just use a symbol that means sleeping well. You can make the symbol of a sheep or something, whatever means to you. So I'm just gonna put it all in the bath, get in and have a good night's sleep and I will see you all in the morning. Good night guys. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. We are here. We're away. We're ready for the day. And today has been the first day that I've had a chance to celebrate Samhain. And that's all right. I've got a whole season. I've got till Yule, which is in December, to celebrate and to do things. I tend to get them done to, uh, around the uh, day of the festival. But the start of November is also very spooky dooky because we have the day of the dead we have all souls day that kind of thing so don't worry if you've not been well enough to celebrate Samhain slash Halloween whatever you personally call it um don't worry about it because it's fine you, you're still a witch just like all the rest of us you still are even if all you do is light a candle even if all I could do this week was light a candle, still as much of a witch as somebody who sent, stayed up all night crafting and dancing and doing merriness, you know? I'm exactly the same amount of witch as them. So please don't pressure yourself or feel guilty or any of that. Just let it go. <sighs> let it go. We're not going to be talking badly to ourselves. This I just recently did a, a blog post about every day should be a self-care day i've done i've talked about this many times i've just done a video about how bringing self-care days into my week has really helped me i started off doing that just one day a week would be like self-care day and then two days a week became self-care day and now every day i try and make self-care day so bring that self-care in talk nice things to thyself 
a good way of doing this is also glamour magic and that is when you're standing at your mirror and you're putting your creams on for the day you've had a wash you know you're putting your creams on say nice affirmations to yourself and about yourself even if you don't believe them at first do it every time and in time that self-belief will start to hit you even if you had a traumatic or difficult childhood like I did <laughs> in many ways. I I didn't have parents who were incredibly supportive or were the kinds of parents who would tell me I was amazing and I could achieve anything I put my plans on. I didn't have that. I had people in my life who did say things like that to me, but I think when you're a kid, your parents and the way they to speak to you does have a big effect on you. Um, I'm waffling. Anyway, we have plans today. I had a long lie in. It's afternoon now. But uh, let's get to it, shall we? I'm not going to show you every step. So uh, I'm going to replenish food and drinks offerings for my gods and stuff and redo my Archangel's candle. I have shown how I do those in past videos. If you would like a whole video just about how I do candle magic, which is very rudimentary. I am planning on learning more about candle magic but yeah if you want me to do that just let me know in the comments and I can do that but um, I'll see you back in my altar room very soon for some painting <laughs> and I have returned so uh, before we get to it I want to show you this a colouring in tarot deck this arrived yesterday I pre-ordered it a while back I'll have a full video on this very soon uh, full review, flip through, walk through, may even try colouring it in on the video. But yeah, today we're going to be using one of these little mini things to make an altarpiece to go along with my little peg doll for Samhain. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, this is Becky Hadley Art. Check her out on Instagram and Etsy. I'll leave links down below. I get these little pig peg dolls. I have, um, I have one for Mabon and I, I found them when it was uh, Lunessa. Lunessa. I, have, I always have to read it before I can say it. L Lunessa. So that was the one for that. She's got a plait and a little headband and she's covered up. Anyway, beside the point. Don't look in my cupboard. I have cupboards as your altar because you can put all your stuff away and then you haven't got to look at it. Anyway, I want to make a new one. I get these really cheap off Amazon, but you can find them in most craft places, I think. And I'll be using my paint markers that you saw in my recent video. And many of you were like, oh my God, there are paint markers. And I was like, there are, my friends, there are. So I was very, very excited. My design is I want to do like a coffee cup that is pumpkin spice latte. So it's gonna have a little pumpkin on it. And then the steam is gonna become a ghost. It's gonna be purple around the, back, around the background because purple is very magical. And I know it's not one of the most Halloween type colours but I actually recently did hold on a map on picture very small I'm still learning how to draw but if you'll see the background I did orange and I didn't want to do the same thing twice plus I kind of don't want to lean into it being just obvious you know so let me draw out what I'm thinking of and then I'll show you so here's my drawing I draw like a seven-year-old, but see, it's a little a cup of pumpkin spice latte, and then the steam is creating a ghost. Ooh, it's so cute. I might do a version of this on my I uh, Procreate now and a little pen thing, so I can do drawings. Um, so if you want, I can I can make a version of this and put it up on 
my Patreon for people who are Patreon supporters. So if you like, um, for example, a sigil that I create or a picture that I create, I am going to do like versions of them that you can download. So go and follow me, go and subscribe, contribute to the channel. I give back as I can. I do what I can because obviously energy issues. But anyway, let's crack open the pens and get to drawing. So this is where I am so far. I've got my little ghosty ghost and my little pumpkin on my cup. I need to colour the outside in purple, but I just want to show you so far and isn't it cute? Look how well they go together. I love it. So yeah, stay tuned folks. Oh my goodness, look how well this came out. My little Samhain painting. I'm so proud of myself. If anybody saw my my first look, this is my first attempt. It's awful. This now. This now. This me now. Woo! So if you want to start a new hobby and you try it out and you think I'm rubbish at this, just keep keep going. You'll get there. Look how pretty these will go together on my altar. I'm so excited and proud of myself and there it is on my altar what do you think hello everyone we're just about to go out for the evening i'm so excited so i'm wearing this top that was in my latest thrift haul i've got a collective like tapestry skirt on that i got in the sale a couple of years ago i have this bag that i've literally bought at a festival when i was like 15 and this fake fur coat from Next that I thrifted. Feeling good, let's go out. Well, <laughs> I went out for dinner with my friends. I think I did an outfit video, but I can't quite remember. And then I didn't vlog there because I was just having a lovely time with my friends. Completely just went out my head, just nah. So, uh, yeah sorry about that my dudes and if you can hear snoring it's because there's a sleeping gizmo <laughs> so uh if you hear the snores of a little boy that is why <laughs> but i forgot to say goodbye to you all i meant to come in and put my pajamas on and like say goodbye and just didn't happen just didn't just didn't occur so <laughs> I'm going to say that I really enjoyed spending the week with you this week. I, I did a lot of things and I hopefully I showed you that you don't have to celebrate a day on a specific day. You don't have to be really, really on it and like, oh, I'm going to do this, this, this and this and I've got to get it done today because otherwise it the magic is gone. No, 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 nay, nay, nay. It's a whole season of autumn to come. Autumn spans until Yule. And so you can take that Samhain autumnal energy of letting go of things that no longer work in your life and do tarot readings and paintings and whatever you want to do. You can do it throughout the next month or so. So please don't feel that pressure. It's something that I've had to remove from me, that societal ableist pressure that we all feel to like get the job done. Do it, do it now. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. But it's not reality it's not the way we're supposed to live and if we have chronic illnesses and disabilities it's it's we don't have a choice we have no choice so be kind to yourselves my darlings i hope you all have a wonderful magical day and i hope that you enjoyed this video i really do let me know down below all your thoughts and feelings on all the things that we got up to in this week it was a very difficult week in many ways it was challenging for my anxiety it was challenging for my energy reserves it was challenging because of the weather there was just lots going on that made it a really difficult week to cope with but i think we did it we did it guys give me a high five <laughs> I really feel proud of myself this week. I achieved a lot of really good things, including I asked for my own meal at the restaurant. I did. I ordered my own meal. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm feeling really proud of myself today. 
but uh, I've had a long lie-in this morning. This afternoon I'm going to be sat at my computer editing this video, furiously trying to get it out in time. So I hope, I hope, hope, hope. Not this video, my other video. Yeah, my thrift haul video is out today. Sorry, I'm getting all confused and confuzzled. But yeah, this video needs to be out on Monday. So um, my thrift haul video is already out, so I'll leave a link to it down below. And I hope that you enjoy both of these experiences with me. But um, don't forget, if you are not yet subscribed and you would like to join the Butterfly family, all you have to do is click that subscribe button, ring that little bell, so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here on Fridays, but sometimes on a Monday, because I like to keep you on your toes. Have a wonderful, magical week, everyone. Thank you for spending a week with me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>